I am going to tick something off my bucket list. My outfit. So for today's video, I am going to take something off my bucket list and it is skydiving. I've always wanted to go skydiving and this has been on my bucket list for many, many years now. I don't know why it has taken me this long to actually do it. Probably because I'm scared of the odds of things going wrong and me dying in the process. Just to clarify, we're doing an indoor skydiving and not an outdoor skydiving yet. I think I want to experience the feeling of doing skydiving in a more controlled setting before actually jumping from a helicopter. So there is a place in Calgary called iFly and there are multiple locations all over the world. So when I checked yesterday, they had a sale going on for a group of four or more and luckily my cousins are here with me in Canada so I asked them if they wanted to go skydiving with me and they said yes so we are going <laughs> skydiving today. So we paid $50 per person to go on the flight and it consists of two flights plus gear rental. So you have your bodysuit, you have your helmet, you have your protective glasses on. And then I did avail an add-on of video because you can avail a video for I think $20 and then they'll take a video of your whole flight experience. And I wanted to do that for the vlog so you guys can see my actual experience. I'm not really sure if I can bring my camera with me inside to vlog the whole thing or vlog me flying, but I did purchase an add-on just in case I wasn't allowed to bring my DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I'm really, really excited. So I think this is my like baby step into skydiving, having a taste of what it actually feels like to jump and be on the air. And then once I kind of have an idea of how it feels like, if I enjoy it or, or if I like it, then maybe we can move on to an outdoor skydiving experience. There are quite a few outdoor skydiving experiences here in Alberta. I've seen them online and they go for about $300 or more. I've really told myself that if I'm going to do skydiving, like an outdoor skydiving, I really wanted it to be in Dubai. I've seen so many videos of people doing skydiving in Dubai and that is the ultimate, ultimate goal. Like, you know, if you're gonna risk your life for skydiving, might as well do it in a place that you really, really like and might as well do it in a place that is on your bucket list. So I think it would be really awesome if I could do my outdoor skydiving in Dubai. I don't know when I'll be able to go to Dubai. So this is the closest I can do to skydiving for now. All right, so I am changed and ready to go and I'm gonna bring you along with me. So let's go. Who is this little puppy? Up here? Hey, good job! <laughs> Are you going to a friend's house? Is Zoe going to a friend's house? Say hi to the vlog, Zoe! Hello! Zoe, look! Good girl! Where are you going? It's chaos in the car! <laughs> Got the two doggies. Snow, come here, say hi. So, Snow, say hi first. Oh. We got doggies in the car. <laughs> say hi. Hello. We are going. So, the first thing. On our list is we're going to pick up my cousins at work because they're currently at work. And then after that, we're gonna go straight to iFly. Um, we need to be there about 45 minutes before the flight time because we need 45 minutes for a briefing, you know, wearing the gears and everything and them instructing us what to do. So let's go.
just here waiting for my cousins. Using the whole town squash room. So they are currently over time at work. And we have been waiting here for, I want to say 20 minutes now. Yeah. 20, 30 minutes now. And we need to be there 45 minutes before the flight time because we need some time to get our gear, change into them, and then there's a briefing before the flight. So hopefully we we get to be there on time because it's mandatory to be there 45 minutes prior to your flight time. And then this was unanticipated. And we'll see how it goes. at iFly we're running a bit late but this is it we're actually the only one here hi good I have a booking for Yale Is where you get the gear. So who's flying? Like, uh, uh, we're all flying. <laughs> okay, cool. So this is my outfit. <laughs> Vlog. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> I think this is the actual flight place. Uh, inside the tunnel, you'll see that like, the easiest way to fly is after I give you a position, try to hold still, stay relaxed. It'll be way easier to uh, fly like this than if you're like stiff. Uh, it will be harder. Okay. So, with two fingers, I'll show you something related to your both legs. So if I show you fingers straight, straight those legs. If I bend my fingers, just bend your legs a bit, okay? okay. With one finger only, I'll show you where to look at. So for example, look up or look down, just follow my finger with chin and eyes, okay? And this one will mean, do you know what it is? Relax, okay? So if ever I feel just sitting my step like this, this will mean just... <coughs> Try to breathe normally, you can really easily breathe inside. It's the feeling is as when you're driving and you pull down the window of your car, you really feel that way, like on the, your hand or whatever. It's the same thing. So you can still breathe normally. Uh, if you don't like it, usually I can talk to you about like some upgrades of your helmets. Otherwise, you will see like it's pretty easy. But yeah, telling about like uh, being relaxed. Uh, yeah, if you just like smooth your like muscles a bit, you'll really feel like the, the body like being lifted a little more. And if you're stiff like a rock, rock doesn't fly well, we'll sink a little more. Uh, when I call you, just come at the door with legs straight, look up, arms up, and we'll try to lean forward like with the hips forward, okay? Nothing in the pockets for anyone, we're good. Yay. Need earplugs. Earplugs. Does it have to stick all the way in? No, I mean just like as... It's just like a Yeah, protection. you want to lower just the sound because it's pretty loud, that's all. Okay. Besides so being at the concert when you're in front of the concert and you just like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So, uh, put it on your, on your face, pull on the set to keep it close. Do you want an elastic for your hairs? Sure. Well, you can start to put them right now and after I'll give you some helmets, okay? I put it like this. Um, Yeah, I think it's more of a sexy thing. Good, then once you have your goggles are on. 
No phones inside, but he's allowed me oh. to move <laughs> my camera by the operator. Let's figure out where the road goes. 
Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. That was an experience. Must, must try. I like how Now it's time for dinner. We're going to McDonald's to grab a quick dinner. So we are at Mitch's house and we are going to pick up Zoe. Uh, it's just snow and Zoe in the house. So I don't know what chaos has been brought to the house. We'll see. skydiving where do I begin I guess I would rate it a 9 out of 10 just because it's not really you know an actual skydiving outdoors like when you're going to jump off a helicopter or a plane or something like that it was amazing I mean it was a really good experience especially if you're there I would highly recommend that you do like the fly high option like they offer a fly high option for $20 and the instructor would bring you way up in the air and twirl you around and that was really a great experience. The pressure is strong, just like how you'd expect it would feel like if you were going to jump off a plane. That's exactly how it feels like. The air pressure is really strong and it really hits you right in the face. So it's really important that your goggles and your helmet are secure because I could see how they could easily fall. It was such a fun experience. I, I wish there was more. I would definitely be going back again if given the chance. If you would like to try skydiving and you're a little bit scared to do the actual thing outdoors, then I would highly recommend the indoor version and it's just as exhilarating. I mean, not for me to, to compare because I haven't really tried the outdoors yet, but I feel like it's it's almost that same feeling that you would get if you did it outside. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. I fly Calgary if you're ever in Calgary or maybe check if you have an iFly near you. But it was a great experience and I hope you enjoy this vlog. We'll see you on the next one.